Hello again everybody and I've got another story for you. It's a lovely one called Billy and the Dragon and it's written by an author called Nadia Shireen. And there is our front cover, sorry it's a bit shiny. There we are, it's Billy and mm, a cat that looks a little bit grumpy. Shall we find out why? Oh there's some nice illustrations on the back too. Let's have a look. Billy and the Dragon. Cake there as well. I wonder if it's a birthday story. Billy and Fat Cat were on their way to a fancy dress party. Fat Cat wasn't that keen on dressing up, but Billy promised him there would be cake. Doesn't look too happy to be dressed up, does he? The party was in full swing. They said hello to the fox. Hello to Hedgehog, hello to the mice, and hello to the adorable little bunny rabbits. Fat Cat quickly made his way to the snack table. He was just about to tuck into a delicious sticky bun when something big and mysterious swooped down from the sky and grabbed Fat Cat. What is that big and mysterious thing in the sky? All right. That looked like a massive dragon, said Fox. Yes, agreed Hedgehog. It definitely seemed dragony. And it's taking Fat Cat to the deep dark forest, which is full of savage creatures and mysterious dangers. Hey, shouted Billy. Come back. But the dragon wasn't coming back. Billy had to think fast. She rummaged in her hair where she kept useful things and she found a telescope. Got your telescope? I can see them, they're brilliant. Eventually, oh, here's what she can see in her telescope. Oh dear. Eventually she spotted Fat Cat. He had been plunked high up in a tall tree and didn't seem too happy about it. We've got to save Fat Cat, said Billy. Who's with me? We are, said the mice. We are, said the adorable little bunny rabbits. I suppose so, said the hedgehog. Well, uh, I have to say yes now, don't I, said the fox. Yes, you do, fox. But when they got to the deep dark forest, the tree was too big to climb. I really like how they put their writing in a list, that's cool. How on earth was Billy going to get up there? What do you think? <gasps> but Billy had an idea. She held onto as many balloons as she could manage. It was working. Oh, and she started to float, so it goes this way and started to float higher and higher. It was working! <gasps> Until the fearsome dragon's roar popped the balloons in an instant. Pop, 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 pop. Here you go, you pop some balloons for me. Pop. Billy plummeted to the ground. Goodness, I hope she's okay. That's a long way. <gasps> and landed with the most fortunate bounce. Phew. But the dragon wasn't hanging around. It grabbed Fat Cat firmly in its claws and flew even further away. <gasps> I can see why Fat Cat's so grumpy now. I'd be grumpy if our dragon carried me away. Oh no, it's taken Fat Cat to the Grimbly Mountains. Not the Grimbly Mountains gasped Hedgehog. They are full of even more savage creatures and mysterious dangers. Oh, what a shame, said Fox. He was such a nice cat. Who's for trifle? But Billy had no time for pudding. No time for trifle. She set off 
all on her own. She's being an incy independent. The journey was indeed full of dangers. Billy scrambled over treacherous rocks, leapt over gushing waterfalls, and made friends with savage creatures. I'm not quite sure that that's a savage creature, but uh, there we go. Suddenly, she heard a swalk. Swalk? Swalk? Yeah. It was a dragon. Quite a small one. It reminded Billy of someone. Are you lost? she asked. I think someone might be looking for you. Billy popped the little dragon into her backpack and she clambered up the rocky mountainside. She was almost at the top. But the fearsome dragon was waiting. It was about to breathe a fiery roar over Billy. When the little dragon popped out to say, hello. Hello. Mama, said the baby dragon. Simon, said the mummy dragon. Just Simon, her baby. Turns, oh, fat cat, said Billy. Turns out it was all just a silly mix up. Oh, because fat cat was dressed like a baby dragon. <gasps> Turns out it was just a silly mix up, said a little worm, who nobody noticed until now. There he is. Thanks, worm. The dragon gave Billy and Fat Cat a ride back to the party. Everyone was excited to meet the new guests. It was just a misunderstanding. That happens all the time, doesn't it? And the party carried on into the bright black night. Wow. The dragon even did some fireworks for them at the end. <gasps> That's lovely. That's really nice. Do you know what that story makes me think of? The word um, compromise and cooperation. And have you ever got into a bit of an argument with someone, maybe a friend? And actually, it just turns out that you both were a bit confused and there was a misunderstanding. And actually, neither of you meant to have an argument with each other. You just needed to listen a bit better. I think that's what Fat Cat and the dragon should have done. They should have talked a bit better and listened a lot better. And then we wouldn't have got in that muddle at all. Happens sometimes, happens to everybody, happens to grown-ups. I hope you enjoyed that story. I will see you very soon for another one. Bye-bye.